Hi, this is a video from HowToStats.com. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at a split plot ANOVA analysis uh, as analyzed in the program called Statistica. And this is based on the blog entry uh, that I wrote in HowToStats.com about uh, are you making a difference statistically? And it was in reference to a consultant going into an organization doing a pilot test on some kind of training program to increase resilience uh, and there was a control group and there was a training group and there was a time one time two if you want to learn more details uh, you should go to the blog entry uh, that is listed uh, on the YouTube comments so what I've got here are, are the data and I'll assume that you know how to input data into Statistica uh, so what we have here is the first variable, resilience, that's time one, pre-training. And then we've got resilience two, which is uh, post-training resilience. And then we've got the grouping variable here, and we've got zeros. And if I scroll down, we've also got ones. And I believe there are 50 uh, in each group uh, for a total sample size of 100. So I've got ones and zeros identifying people into each group just like you would for a t-test for independent groups. But there are two dependent variables, time one, time two. So to analyze these data for a split plot ANOVA, one of the most useful statistical analyses, uh, in my opinion, go into Statistics, ANOVA, and then you click Repeat, Repeated Measures ANOVA, and then go into OK you got to select your variables so in the first uh, uh, first window in the first box of the window you have to select your dependent variable list and dependent variables are resilience 1 resilience 2 and I just push down the shift key while selecting those and then my category predictors or factors between groups variable is groups and then the number 3 pops up there click OK got to identify the within subjects effects I think the default would work just fine as it is it's got two levels factor name R1 you can just leave it as that I just write time could write pre post there uh, and then I go OK then it shows me the options I've got in terms of doing the analyses and the output that I'm going to get and in this case here uh, I'm just going to click on all effects and graphs just to show you what it gives and what you get is the uh, crux of the analysis right here in the window you've got your group effect your time effect and your time by group effect and this is the interaction and that's the key to a split plot ANOVA with two levels is the time by group interaction if the interaction is statistically significant and the means are in the direction that you hypothesize then you can say your treatment worked uh, whereas the time effect and the group effect are not really especially important here knowing that the groups differ on a combined time one time two dependent variable or that uh, resilience increase from time one to time two is not especially informative what we want to know is that the treatment group improved from time one to time two and it not only improved it improved in a statistically significantly greater way than the control group and that's what the time by group interaction is telling us and the f value is f119 and it's statistically significant it's less than 0 0.05 it's in fact p less than 0 0.001 now it's going to display the graph when you click OK uh, but it might not be in the right way. Let's just check this. I've got group on my x-axis so I want uh, actually I want time and group. Time on my x-axis pre and post and I want my line pattern to be separated across groups. Let's click OK. And we get the uh, chart that I displayed on the blog. I hope this is large enough uh, for you to see. Uh, let me just make this a bit larger. Actually, I could get rid of this. So this is the interaction. I'll just get rid of these pieces of information to make the chart bigger. That's how easy these charts are to manipulate in, in Statistica. I have to say, that's one thing that really impressed me with Statistica testing a split plot. 
is a it gives you the chart and it gives you a chart with standard error error bars automatically as a default that's not common in in my experience with stats packages it it's quite um often painful to try to get a chart with I'm just clicking these buttons here to get rid of the grid lines also showing you how easy it is to do it so what we have here is the group 0 and group 1 I don't think I added value labels to my data editor but even if you haven't you don't want to go back and redo the analysis it's quite easy to change that in Statistica just double click on that and you have to disconnect objects from graph and then you can whoops you can replace let me cancel that all right so disconnect objects from group and do that for this one as well and then we can change uh, 0 to control and we can change this one to training because that's what it is and just seeing 0 and 1 on the chart isn't very informative click OK and there we go it's changed and you can change the area that that finds itself in I think in the blog I put it up here you can just click on a few options to change that also resilience I can change the resilience 1 resilience 2 let's change that by edit custom labels it's all very easy so resilience 1 is pre training and resilience 2 is post training these are the only two things I'm going to show you because I don't want to make this a total chart uh, uh, a YouTube video on charts but you can see how easy it is to change the various features of a statistical chart very impressed with that and I'll end the video here thanks